You know, when you're eating steak and you get like that nice prime rib, it's marbled, mm, it's meaty, it's fatty, it's got a lot of flavor in it. That's that same psychological primal trigger that's telling you that this is a dense source of calories. This is going to give you long, sustained energy to survive through that long hike in the woods or until you can get back to civilization. And there's also salty too. The salt will cause your body to want to crave water more because as you have salt, you have to flush that through your liver and such, and that will also cause you to conserve fluid. If you ate a bag of pretzels today, I guarantee tomorrow you're going to be, you're going to wake up and you're kind of puffy and swollen because of all that salt that's going to cause you to conserve fluid. But these were, they're wired in our head so we know what's going to be good and healthy. But food is a change, right? If you're eating natural, like, things just you're finding, you're going to know when you've gotten that, right? But now, food, as it is today, when you go to the grocery store, that food you pull off out of that box and out of that package is a lot different now than that one you're plucking off a tree or, you know, digging out of the ground. Because modern food, if you look at the ingredients, you're not going to know what half that is. But it's designed to over-satisfy these things here. They're extremely sweet. They're really fatty. And they're really salty, and that's designed to tell your brain I want more. They're not designed to give you nutrition, they're designed to keep you buying, essentially. Right? You want that bag of Chex Mix? Damn, it was good. Right? Mm. You'll eat every crumb, you're pouring out little crumbs out of the corner of the bag at the end, right? And you're still not full at the end. You still want more because it was so salty, it was so satisfying, that texture, that crunch. So, we've kind of been programmed, because these are so good, it will give such a dopamine hit that will satisfy those cravings when you're, when you're angry, when you're tired, when you're, when you're frustrated. And that's where we get into satiety versus satiation. I like to call this, and this is from that book, Prime Rate versus Oreos. Okay? So, satiation is regulated by the brain. Okay? So it's based on the smells, it's based on taste, texture, things like that. It's an estimate. It's not a physical feeling of fullness. So as you eat prime rib, that very first bite is delicious, right? That second bite is pretty damn delicious. The third bite is, is delicious. The next one is maybe a little less so, a little less so, until you get to the point where you can't just eat anymore, right? You will get satiated. You know, it is going to, it's so full, that prime rib is so full of macronutrients, protein, and, and fat. It's a dense source of calories that at some point you're going to say, if I eat any more, I'm going to be sick. Right? You know that your body's just saying, enough. Put the brakes on. So that is satiation, but satiety is different. That actually happens in the dig digestion. Hormones will respond and say, I can't get any more in here. We're done. There's no more room. And that is dependent on the actual nutrition of the food. So, like with Oreos, that's what they call it in the book, food with no breaks. By no breaks means there's really not any nutrition in that food to say I had enough. You know, there's none of like there's a lot of this, but there's no more real nutrition to say, whoa, whoa, this is, this is more than enough that we need to survive. So you will go through that whole package of Oreos, or that whole thing of Chex Mix, just because it is unreal on this. It's just so much flavor, so much enjoyment, so much dopamine that you're just, I'm going to consume until either I say, well, I've eaten like a half a pack of Oreos, or the thing is gone, right? There's no grapes on it. Because really, there's no nutrition, but your body will get essentially rewired and reprogrammed to that. And remember how good it felt to eat that package of Oreos. You're just like, man, it's a hard day at work. You know, the grocery store, get a bag of Oreos, a package of Chex Mix, and a 12 pack of Coors. And that's gonna do it, man. right? I've been there. And if 
becomes routine. You almost crave that dopamine, just like you crave you know, the drug of choice. It becomes routine, pretty soon you need that to even feel normal. And because you're eating so much beyond where normal sati satiation would be, you start packing on so much extra calories, so much extra stuff. The fact that you're just satisfying cravings, you're not actually satisfying hunger. So on the, on the flip side, if you're eating, you know, as we're prescribing, you're going to eat and know that you've had enough because actual nutrition is in your body. And you're going to be fueling yourself. And pretty soon, you know, some people say, like, I don't like vegetables. They're gross. There's no flavor in them. Well, yeah, that's probably likely true if you've been eating, like, Skittles and, you know, Pringles and all these overly flavored foods. You know, a carrot's not going to taste that good compared to like that nacho cheese and burrito. There's just the flavor scale is so much in, in, you know, the Dorito side that a carrot's going to taste the roast. But as you give that up, the sugar starts to, you know, as you, as you eliminate sugar in your diet, as you eliminate soda and things like that, those flavors are going you know, to come out. You grab an apple, and that will taste better than any other apple you've ever tasted. Now you're tasting real food, you're getting real nutrition, and that will then let your body tell itself and regulate itself when it's actually full and you're actually fueled. So that's what real eating is, real nutrition. So, and it comes down to the three things. Remember, you gotta have your protein, your dead source of, of energy. Your fat, also a dead source, source of energy, and your carbs, those are going to be your sweet calories, your, you know, things to burn. This book will break it down, all those things, in a really streamlined, logical way. It's awesome, you know?